Hello everyone! Today we're going to talk about the integration of Crowdin and corporate messengers and collaboration in software localization. Crowdin has integrations with all the most popular enterprise messengers. In this video, I will show you how to integrate with Slack, but you can get a similar experience if you use Microsoft Teams, Discord, Google Chat, and so on. With this integration, you and your team can now receive notifications in Slack or Microsoft Teams about any updates to your projects directly from Crowdin. This way, you can always know when new keys are added or issues are created, and you can respond quickly. Here are some of the most popular use cases we have seen customers using these integrations. Notifying a developer about context requests. Context is critical for translators to provide high-quality translations. In Crowdin, translators can indicate that they cannot translate certain keywords. And with this integration, you can route these requests right to the development team. Another use case – notifying developers about key changes. In Crowdin, all teams can collaborate on source code, not just translations. Developers may want to know immediately when a new key is added or an existing key is changed, to incorporate changes in their code. But there is more. You can receive notifications when a new file is added or updated, or when a file is fully translated, etc. Let me show you how to set up this integration yourself. As usual, we first find the integration in the Crowdin store and install it. After the installation, you can find and configure the integration in your Projects Tools section. Now you can configure multiple integrations, one per project. Most of the integrations with corporate messengers in Crowd and Store use the incoming hooks features of the messengers. You will need to consult your messaging software documentation to find out how to create an inbound hook. If you use a different messaging system than Slack, the process may be different for you, but eventually you should get an incoming hook URL. Now let's configure the integration. I paste my incoming webhook URL. Now I can choose which events I want to receive in my Slack. Good, let's now test the integration. Let me add a new key. After adding a new key to my project, I get a notification. Here it is. Now let me create an issue. And here is another notification. Me and the team can now collaborate on this and go to Crowdin directly to the place where we can respond. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you next time.